In this video, we're going to define the notion of the mixing time of a Markov chain. Let's start with a notion of the distance to a stationary distribution. Let x0, x1, dot, dot, dot be a finite, irreducible, aperiodic Markov chain with stationary distribution pi. We saw in a previous video that by the fundamental theorem of Markov chains, there exists a unique stationary distribution. Now we're going to define delta of t to be the maximum over all states s of the total variation distance between the stationary distribution pi and the distribution p s of t, where p s of t I'm defining to be the distribution of x sub t conditioned on x sub naught being equal to s. That is, this is the distribution of the Markov chain after t steps, given that we started at s. This is the distance, the total variation distance, between that distribution and the stationary distribution. And this is kind of the worst possible distance, the biggest possible distance is when I maximize over all possible starting points. And that's going to give me delta of t. We know that eventually delta of t will be small because the fundamental theorem of Markov chains says that this distribution is going to approach the stationary distribution as t gets large. Our question is eventually going to be how fast does delta of t get small? To quantify this, we are going to define mixing times. We see that the mixing time of a Markov chain, that is a finite irreducible aperiodic Markov chain with stationary distribution pi. I'm going to denote this tau sub mix, and I'm going to define it as tau sub mix is the minimum over all t, so that delta of t is less than or equal to 1 over 2e. That is, this is the first time t, so that the distance between the Markov chain and the stationary distribution is small, less than or equal to 1 over 2e, no matter which state s you start in. You might be wondering, what is with this 1 over 2e? Well, it's a little bit arbitrary. The reason why it's OK to have a somewhat arbitrary limit here is the following fact. Um, so this, this is not an obvious fact. So the fact is that for any finite, irreducible, aperiodic Markov chain, first, this delta of t is non-increasing. That is, as t gets bigger, we're not going to get any further from the stationary distribution. And also, delta of c times tau mix for some constant c is less than or equal to e to the minus c. What this means is that we can turn this 1 over 2e into e to the minus c, if we like, by just taking some constant multiple more steps. So in that sense, it doesn't really matter what this threshold is here. As long as we get close enough, then once we take more steps, we're going to get really, really close pretty quickly. OK, so this was a pretty short video. Just to recap, uh, as time goes on, a finite, irreducible, aperiodic Markov chain approaches its unique stationary distribution. We already knew this from the fundamental theorem of Markov chains. But now we've developed some notation to quantify how fast it approaches the stationary distribution. It's quantified by this difference delta of t and by the mixing time tau mix. In the next video, we'll see how we can actually bound these quantities for some Markov chains that we might be interested in. Thanks for watching.